Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about an application that enables you to take control of the notification sound that comes through whenever you're consuming media on your device. And what I'm talking about is you're listening to a song or you're watching a video and suddenly a text message comes in and what you get in there is basically that one second, almost one and a half seconds of pause to give you the notification sound and then resuming it, the sound of the music. Let's go ahead and check it out. <laughs> There's two ways to get the application installed on your device. You can either download the APK straight from the actual XDA thread below the description here under the video, or you can go to the Google Play Store. There's two versions of it. There's the Don't Pause by Trent Pierce, and again, there's the Donate version. This is a 99 cents fee. Um, it was given to us as a review copy by the developer. Thank you very much. And, or you can download the free version that's ad supported. It has less, a smaller amount of subset of features, and I'll explain the difference between the two. Um, also available on the Google Play Store and be able to install that. Once you have it installed, it's pretty easy to turn on and set up. Um, currently, I have the service running in the background, but not on, and I'll explain to you how I mean that. We'll go in, we'll look for it, and here it is. Don't pause. It's actually greeting us with this nice new UI. It's been revamped. If you've used this before, the UI itself has been revamped, and it looks very nice. Uh, the actual interface itself is pretty simple. You have the ability of sharing. The other options here are under the notification. Now, this is the pro version or the donate version. So a lot of these features here are turned on. So when you have the free version that's ad supported, you do have advertising whenever you stop the service itself. And um, most options under from tablet all the way down to advertising removal are disabled uh, to the pro version, which is the donate version. Notification turned on, this enables you to disable the, the function of having it show in your notification. It works and it doesn't work. I find that just leaving it on will make the service work better. I've had issues with it when I did turn this option on where the service stops. So overall, not that bad. The tablet mode gives us the ability to be compatible with tablets. And I say that because tablet mode uh, enables you to be able to just to mute the notification function, not all the sounds on your device. The other option is the default ringer. This is in case you're listening to music and for some reason or another, you just decided to turn off the service. Um, you get the ability or give the ability to don't pause to be able to actually return your normal uh, notification while the music is playing without disturbing you. Start on boot, I think it's a very needed uh, feature. If you don't have this on the free version, you have to start this every time you restart your device. The next option obviously is detecting headphones, which is what I have right now. So the service is running, but it's waiting for me to put in the headphones into the device for it to turn on. And of course, last but not least, advertising removal. This gives you the option to be able to remove the advertising out of the actual application itself. Uh, but again, with the donated version, you've already supported the developer. It's very nice. Or you can leave it on if you wanted to you know, support them even more. Other than that, when you hit back, you're greeted back with the, the startup option. And the interface is very simple. You start the service, you end the service. So currently, the service has already started. And if I want to start it again, I just press it. And I'm greeted with the don't pause has started. And if I want to end it, it again gives me the op information here. So you're always aware of what happened. I want to keep the service started. And it says service started right here on the top. But it, again, it stays in the top part of my screen. I have it set up so that it listens and it has everything. I did leave the option here so for it to listen. And we'll go home. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do a demonstration. I'm going to play a little bit of music here. And then in the process, we're going to go ahead and send a notification to ourselves. Actually, more like a text message to the device itself. And as you guys can see here, the music didn't pause and my message did come through. It's in my notification and I'm still able to interact with my music. And once I turn off the music itself and I say I send myself another text, it'll give us the ability to actually hear the notification coming in. And as you guys can see, it came in and the sound is very loud. I just wanted to make it loud for this for the purposes of this video. But overall, as far as the interface and the way it works, it works very nicely. Now, I noticed also that this will work if you're playing videos as far as media itself. So if you're playing a video, let's say you're on, let's go ahead, we'll go into YouTube. And then basically we get the notification here saying we got a text message from our friend and Adam is not interrupted in his video. So again, it works very well even when you're listening to media on the device that is not necessarily music. So downloading and installing application is pretty simple. You can either get it from the Google Play Store or you can get it straight from the XDA thread. I'll give you the information in the description here below the video. The main thing you want to keep in mind, the application installs and runs in, much in the background. You have the option of disabling the notification in your, uh, in your notification panel because I know a lot of people might not be comfortable with that. Just keep in mind that sometimes disabling that could interrupt the type of service that it's running. 
Um, I've tried it and a couple of times it worked and a couple of times it didn't, so I just left it for the most part. But I also have that option that's only available in the Pro version that to have the service start when I plug in the headphones. So is that even more functional for me? I usually consume my media on my device when I have my headphones on, um, either when I'm on the bus, when I'm at work. It usually have a headphones of some sorts connected. Uh, you could use a Bluetooth uh, profile as far as using, you know, either a Bluetooth headset or anything like that. The service won't start by itself because that's not a head, head, you know, there's no interaction with the device itself other than a Bluetooth connection. But if you have the service running, once the music starts or the media uh, starts, the profile starts in the background, don't pause, will work for you. And it, really, the main purpose of this is you don't get interrupted when you're listening, when you're watching things on your device. If you're using a regular device that has a vibration motor, it goes to vibration and it still gives you that notification that you got a text, but it doesn't pause the music. And if you're using a tablet, that's when the donate version becomes more functional for you because it does disable the notification only sound and leaves the regular sound of the tablet on. Otherwise, if you use the free version on a tablet, uh, there have been some reports that all audio is turned off. So you don't actually get, even get be able to listen to the music itself once a notification comes in. So if you have a tablet, you definitely want to get the donate version. If you just want to use it on a regular device, um, the developer himself uses it on a Note 3. I use it on my Note 3 and I tested it on my uh, HTC One. It works very well. There's no root privileges. There's no special privileges. It's really manipulating you know audio profiles and as as soon as you unplug it reverts back to what it used to be and it has the option to be set to start on boot if you have the donate version again at 99 cents i think it's a definite steal you should definitely support the developer in that option i don't know of any other application that does specifically that on its own again like and subscribe let me know what you guys think here uh, like subscribe to this channel like and subscribe to my channel and as usual i will see you guys next tuesday